Hi everybody, it's Tandy Gutierrez and your Tip Tuesday mini vid tip of the day. Today we're talking about travel workouts. Um, I have been traveling a lot lately and so uh, it comes up a lot. <laughs> so we're going to talk about what do you do on the road when you're traveling and why. Um, I think a lot of people think that when they travel they have to throw their workouts out because it gets too hectic and too crazy um, and they just can't, no brain space for it. It's like anything else. If you plan and prepare and, and really find what works for you, then it's just part of the process. Um, so when you travel, you actually need your workouts more because everything that you're doing is kind of setting your body off balance. You're hauling stuff, you're carrying stuff, you're most likely a little bit more dehydrated than normal, especially if you're flying, it's just part of the game. Um, your, di your digestion is off because you're sitting a lot, you're also in different time zones and your schedule is just different perhaps so it just kind of says please do things and keep your rituals keep your practices that keep things balanced or bring them back into balance as much as you can so when it comes to working out when you're on the road you need them more the brilliance of PYM is that it is a total have mat will travel, right? So anywhere you've got a Wi-Fi connection, you can play it on your smartphone, on your tablet, or on your laptop, especially if you're traveling for work. Um, you only need the space of a mat, and every other workout is just the mat work. You don't need props. Um, each workout is full body balance, so you're looking for strength and flexibility to balance the body. Well, every PYM workout has that. And you don't even really have to have a mat. I have totally, you know, laid down the towel in the hotel room floor and just gone from there. And if you've got a uh, carpet or you're outside rocking it with your phone or your tablet, like totally cool. Um, that space between the two queen beds in a standard room really is plenty of space for PYM because I've done it. Um, so the workouts kind of speak to themselves. Like Pilates is brilliant, PYM is totally efficient and body balanced, and you don't have to take anything with you except for your technology and a Wi-Fi connection, um, which is just really nice and super easy. The piece that we don't talk about probably enough, or it's starting to come up more, is cardio. Um, you do want to be doing cardio for your heart. Your heart is a muscle and it needs attention and a little bit of extra love too. But you want to, again, do things that are smart and efficient. So just like the PYM workouts are totally intelligent and efficient in planes of motion um, and body balance and time. They're only 30 minutes. The cardio that you want to be doing, you want it to be the exact same thing. When I travel, I tend to just throw my running shoes in the bag because I know that I can do that anywhere in nice weather, right? Like if I'm staying at my family's like I am today, <laughs> I can just go out the front door, run 15 minutes out and come 15 minutes back in. I'm a huge proponent for not doing cardio over 30 minutes. Be efficient, be intelligent and make it work for you wherever you are. Um, the why the 20 30 minutes um because interval training is the most efficient caloric burn because you don't run the risk of creating stress hormones that actually completely negate any of the benefit that you want especially in a female body i personally have autoimmune issues if i go over 30 minutes it fires the bad stress hormones and i get autoimmune issues happening. So my stuff like chronic fatigue fires up and then your body's combating itself. So not the goal when you're trying to be healthy and fit. So if you keep it to 30 minutes, you're in good hands. You can look at HIT, H-I-I-T training and Tabata training. Tabata is kind of the easiest also. You don't have to run, okay? Because running can be really hard on your joints, but you can do good plyometric um, interval stuff like jumping jacks and running in place and mountain climbers in a hotel room or in a room and not take up a lot of space. If you're headed down the Tabata route, it's eight sets of equal intervals. So take a one minute interval, for example, do jumping jacks for one minute and then rest for a minute and then go back and do it again. You do that eight times at 16 minutes total. You don't even have to start at a minute because that's a lot. You can start with whatever your body can handle, like 30 seconds and 30 second rest. So it's the same on as it is off. You can check out the full blog post at PYM number four life.com or add your comments and questions here about that because again that's separate so 20 to 30 minute interval training when I travel I tend to throw my shoes in and just go with the jogging route of intervals but you cannot 
have to do that also. Um, then what's the next piece? The next piece is what do you take with you if you are going to take some props? Traveling is really hard on your body and it tends to make you tight and stressed, right? Usually because you're sitting a lot. So whether you're driving or flying, you're sitting at your poor low back and your hamstrings and your hips are like, ah, we're built to move. Please don't make me sit for this lengthy period of time. Okay. I fall into the same category. I just drove, you know, an eight hour drive with the kids yesterday and I'm tight today. So what did I pack? Um, here's my little zippy bag that I take on trips with me. Yes, it's just a zippy bag, okay? And then I now travel with my not out stuff. I didn't expect to like these a year ago and a friend gave them to me and I love it. And it's a really efficient travel piece. So these you could just put behind your low back to help your lumbar spine and kind of perk you up for good posture while you're seated or driving. You can move it to the mid back, give a little rest and a little opening to the chest and the collarbone. And same thing, you can put it right between the shoulder blades. And it's not some weird squishy pillow you've got to, you know, hike on the plane with you. It really perks you up. So I love this one. Then when you get to wherever you're going, you can use it as a roller. Um, it's called action for my body is piriformis hips um, and hamstrings. So you can sit on it and roll your tush to get at the hamstring. Um, and then you can run the side of the booty and the IT band that tends to get really tight also. Um, you can roll Put it on your spine and it'll get all the little spinal erectors to each side and just helps loosen and open things up. Again, you're hauling bags and you're sitting a lot and things are going to get stuck. So this is the one that I fly with typically. I drove yesterday so I had a little bit more room to throw stuff in the car. Oh, the big mama one. Um, this one is just lovely and does wonderful work on your quads and your thighs um, and a little bit extra yumminess on the back and the upper back. So these are fab and I never anticipated that I would love them so much that I would travel with them, but I do. Um, so in the zippy bag that goes on every trip with me, I also put a Versa loop in. Now you can do a resistance band also, it doesn't matter. I just, again, bang for the buck. They take up zero space, okay? Like there is no excuse not to work out because it's that amount of space. Um, resistance band is the same thing and they're inexpensive, but I can add resistance to all of my workouts with this thing. My chronic spot tends to be hips. They get tight and kind of locked up when they're grumpy and seated too long. So not only can you do resistance work with it for more sculpting and strength and definition, you can also do a little hip SI joint reset with this business of the push out because you're in a closed circuit chain. It's really smart and efficient. Also, what else goes in my goodie bag? Um, because I tend to do more interval sprints and jogging running um, when I'm on the road, um, my super nerdy heart rate monitor <laughs> strap and my phone case so I can go run. But I keep all of this in the zippy bag and it's usually in my suitcase already so that it's just part of the process and I don't have to forget it. It just comes with me. Um, so these are the tips and the tools for my travel workouts. Clearly workouts at pimpyourmat.com because they're 30 minutes at a time and they travel with you. You're already taking your phone so you're ready to go and you have me as your coach along the way. But the little extra goodies and the self-care items stay in my zippy, stay in the suitcase and come along with me all the time now to keep me in my optimal mode or at least not in decline mode because my body's being taxed and our schedules are off and you know, bathroom stops and eating are all a little funky when you're traveling, whether for work or for fun. So thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this Tip Tuesday mini vid. And if you have any questions or comments, just post below and please share it with anybody and everybody, especially those in your life that travel a lot because they're all like, I have to do something about my health when I'm stuck in airports and crappy food and there's not a lot of space and there's no gym at the hotel I stay at. You don't need a gym. You need me. <laughs> you need PYM and you need Pilates. So check it out. Thank you. And I will see you next week. Bye.